मल्टी लेवल फीडबैक क्यू सो इन मल्टी लेवल फीडबैक क्यू द प्रोसेस कैन मूव बिटवीन द वेरियस क्यूज एजिंग कैन बी इंप्लीमेंटेड दिस वे एजिंग इज द सोल्यूशन टू द स्टागेशन प्रॉब्लम एज टाइम गोज we increase the priority of a process which is waiting for very long duration right so that this process never goes to starvation state so this is called as multi level feedback queue a process which is submitted in lowest priority queue may be shifted to the high priority queue as time passes right so multi level feedback queue schedule are defined by the following parameters that is number of queues how many number of queues are there scheduling algorithm for each queue within queue which scheduling policy will be executed method used to determine when to upgrade a process that is solution of aging method used to determine when to demote a queue or demote a process method used to determine which queue a process will enter when that process needs some service right so these are the parameters which we have to decide for multi level feedback queue scheduler right so here is an example suppose there are three queues q0 q1 q2 Q zero. In Q zero, a process will be executed for eight milliseconds. In Q two, a process will be executed for sixteen milliseconds. In Q three, processes will be executed in FCFS manner. And scheduling is: a new job enters Q Q zero, which is served FCFS when it gains CPU. job receives 8 milliseconds if it does not finish in 8 milliseconds job is moved to q1 right at q1 job is again served fcfs that means if multiple processes are there in q1 q then they will be executed in fcfs manner so within q we are executing the processes in the fcfs manner and a process will be executed for 16 milliseconds in the q1 and then it will be moved to q2 if still some time is required to execute further right and in q2 there is no limit on the time quanta so this can be the diagrammatic represent representation of the system in which this is our q1 in which time quantum is 8 8 seconds or 8 milliseconds so a process will be executed at, at max for 8 milliseconds in q0 then it will be further submitted to q1 here it will be allowed to execute for 16 seconds 16 milliseconds and then further it will be submitted to q2 in which it will be executed in fcfs manner right so this is how multi level feedback queue works in multiple processor scheduling if we have multiple processors then how scheduling will be performed so cpu scheduling is more complex when multiple cpus are available because it's easy to implement scheduling policy on a single cpu because there is only one resource which will be shared among multiple processes and if we have multiple processors also in our system then we have to keep track of 
all the processes which are running on different different CPUs also. Right? So on homogeneous processors within a multiprocessor, homogeneous processors means like symmetric processing. Load balancing, we also have to take care of load balancing. There should not be the case that one CPU is overloaded and another other other CPUs are underutilized. Right? In case of asymmetric multiprocessing, only one processor accesses the system data structure, alleviating the need for data sharing. In that case, a processor is acting as the master processor and other processors are acting as the slave processor. Right? So data sharing may be required in that system. For real-time scheduling, hard real-time systems required to complete a critical task within a guaranteed amount of time. So in this case, we need to schedule the real-time, hard real-time problems with the immediate scheduling of these processors. So real-time computing requires that critical processes receive priority over less fortunate ones, right? And that's all.